Hi there, everyone. My name is Dr. Sean King. I'm a chiropractor from Sherwood Park, Alberta. I wanted to take a couple minutes here to talk about World Spine Day. So it's an internationally recognized initiative designed to help to promote spinal health. But I thought I'd take a couple minutes to talk about some of the negative impacts of COVID-19 from a chiropractic perspective. So number one is we have seen in general a trend where there's been a decrease in physical activity. In general, most people probably haven't gotten back to that uh, pre-COVID level of activity. So another negative impact that we've seen from COVID-19 is this trend of increased postural related issues, okay? So again, a lot of this has to do with people, you know, working from home or students, you know, doing their schoolwork from home. Not everybody has that properly set up ergonomic desk in their home workspace. And as a result, postural tension has built from this. I think it'd be a good idea to go over an exercise that helps to uh, relieve some of that postural tension. So this is called Brueger's exercise. And as I was saying, it helps to relieve some of that tension that people might have from sitting at their computers or maybe they're on their cell phones. So we'll start up top here uh, with the head. What we wanna do is called chin retraction. And we wanna keep the chin still level and kind of pull it backwards here, okay? So the reason for this is to help to relax some of those muscles in the neck and upper back. Going downwards, uh, to the shoulders. A lot of times people can have those anteriorly rolled forward shoulders. We want to do the opposite. We want to pull the shoulders down and back. So another way to help promote this is kind of letting the arms open up here. So same thing, kind of pulling those down and back. We're trying to promote extension through that upper thoracic spine. You can do this standing or seated. So if you're seated, basically you would just put your arms on your lap. If you're standing, you can kind of let them hang down. So moving downwards here, uh, to the legs and the hips. Basically, we want to kind of point our feet and our legs outwards a little bit, and this will help to relieve some of the tension in the hips and low back area. So the last thing that we want to focus on is breathing. So what we want to stay away from is called chest breathing. So generally chest breathing should only be utilized with intense activity. And the reason why we want to stay away from that is it does contribute to tension in the chest upper back and neck okay so what we would, should rather be focusing on is what's called belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing okay so when we belly breathe our chest shouldn't be moving it should be all through the diaphragm and basically when you breathe in the belly should move outwards and when you breathe out the belly should move inwards so putting that all together here i'll just take a step back so again we're going to chin retract open up the arms and the chest Put the arms outwards and then just try and take some deep belly breaths here. Okay. Okay, good. So in general, I think it's good to do this, I'll say two to four times throughout the day. And when you're doing it, you can do it for about 10 repetitions or 10 deep breaths. If you have any questions, definitely talk to your chiropractor. If you'd like more information about World Spine Day, you can look it up online at worldspine.org. Thank you everyone and stay healthy.